Meanwhile, if you watch the show, you know we make our little jokes, haha, -ha, about Donald Trump on the show. Uh, but I'm an American. It is my right to make fun of our leaders. It is different when foreigners go after our leaders. For instance, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth recently appeared in a nature documentary, and when a helicopter butted into the scene, she used that moment to take a swing at the colonies. Why do you always go around the line when you want to talk? <laughs> 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 Hold on there, Liz. I'm not sure about that comparison. I'd say Trump's more like a Zeppelin, full of hot air, and we're all waiting for him to go down in flames. Now, Obama, though, yes. Obama, yes. Now, I was a little surprised to see the queen take a jab at Trump and Obama, but I shouldn't have been, because she is well known for her merciless slams against foreign leaders. Take a look. You know Queen Elizabeth as England's dignified matronly figurehead, but get ready for her to take off her dainty white gloves and go hard on her fellow heads of state in her new comedy special, Queen Elizabeth's Royal Beatdown. Watch as the monarch of mean takes on the world's most powerful leaders. Four words, Putin. Put on a shirt. No one wants to see your saggy pierogies. You got a lizard. Hey, Merkel. How about using that famous German engineering to get a decent haircut? Ooh. It makes sense that Angela has a hard G, since these days there's no way you're getting any hard D. <laughs> Too bad. Usually sausage goes pretty well with a sour crowd. Welcome to Bucking Slam Palace. Myanmar State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi, you suck. Queen Elizabeth's Royal Beatdown. We got a great show for you tonight.